you guys my name is Megan welcome to my channel if you are new make sure you hit that subscribe button you know you want to and if you are returning welcome back so as you can see this video is going to be on my love and hate relationship with Virgos now quick little disclaimer I'm going to do this with all of the signs but given that it is September and it's about that time you know for my solar return for all of my Virgos. So I wanted to kick it off by go ahead and starting this series. Okay. So as I said before, happy solar return to all of my Virgos. I love you guys. And I also want to make it known that I have a Virgo moon. So a lot of these traits that I'm going to discuss both negative and good, like I resonate with a lot of them. Okay. So like I, I feel like I'm, I'm really connected to you guys in that way. So let's let's get started, shall we? Mm. Reason number one why I love Virgos. I love Virgos because you guys are some of the most intelligent people. Like I've never met a dumb Virgo. Even if you guys aren't necessarily book smart, the traditional kind of like. Um, I went to college, you know, uh, I, I obtained a law degree, now I'm a doctor, kind of smart, right? You guys are very perceptive and you're very quick learners. Now, the sign Virgo is ruled by the planet Mercury, which is, uh, it also rules the sign Gemini. And Mercury governs the intellect, it governs the mind. And um, as a result, Virgos are very analytical, right? They pick apart things and they love to kind of get a fundamental understanding of the way the world works around them. And I love that about y'all, you know. Um, and because of that, you guys kind of have, the way you look at the world is very, um, it's practical because you have your own understanding of why things work the way that they work, right? And which kind of brings me to my second point. The second reason why I love Virgos is because you guys are so practical, very practical minded. Virgo is also an earth sign. So much like Taurus um, and Capricorn, you guys kind of have a very grounded, right? A grounded perspective on life and, um, which also makes you hard workers, right? And when you combine that with just your natural intellect, right, and your natural ability to just figure shit out, it makes you unstoppable. I love that about you guys. Also, you guys are very generous. Virgo is the sign of service, right? And the bomb thing that I love about Virgos is that they help you in practical ways, right? Going back to that practicality thing, right? Virgos are not the type to, if you have a Virgo friend, they're probably going to help you in the way that they feel like will benefit you the most on just the everyday common level, right? So these people are the people who will cook for you. They'll help you rearrange your house. They'll help you, you know, clean up. They'll help you paint Paint your room if you need, you know, if you want to throw a, um, a room painting party or whatever. You know, and I, I love that about you guys. Also, I love the fact that Virgos are hardworking. I think I made this point already, but um, yeah, like Virgos work very, very hard. And you guys are, it's a stereotype that you guys tend to be perfectionists at what you do. But I think it's because maybe some of some are actual perfectionists. Um, but it's it goes back to that Mercury thing, right? The mind, right? You're using your mind and you're analyzing. You like to learn the ins and outs of things to the point where you have no choice but to perfect it because you know it inside and out. Whatever it is that you put your mind to. If you are, I don't know. You enjoy basket weaving, you're probably going to be the best basket weaver because you know craft, you know the hobby forwards and backwards. You know how to do it with your eyes closed. And you continue, if you don't, you know, starting off, a Virgo will work and make it their mission 
to, you know what I'm saying, keep doing it until they get to that level, until they master whatever it is that they take on. That's what I fucking love about y'all, right? Um, hate, okay, with all of this genius and all of this mental activity comes judgment. Y'all are some judgmental motherfuckers. And like I said, I know because I, to a certain degree, I follow, I do the same, okay? Virgos are so tough on other people because they judge themselves harshly. Especially people with, like, a lot my Virgo moons out there, my fellow Virgo moons, tend to have, or at some point have self-esteem issues because we're just so used to picking ourselves apart. You know what I'm saying? We're so used to um, holding ourselves to a certain standard and that manifests as you judging other people, right? Picking other people apart, holding other people to certain standards, whether you're consciously or unconsciously aware of these things. And there's a saying that, you know, especially if you're more spiritually inclined, everything that happens happens inside and then it happens outwards as a, as below or as above. So below, you know what I'm saying? And, that really holds true and it explains a lot as to why Virgos tend to be so fucking judgmental, right? You spend so much time being hard on yourself, uh, holding yourself to certain standards that it just comes naturally to kind of look at other people and be like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Especially if what they're presenting to you is something that's outside um, I guess your outlook on life or what you think makes sense or what you find to be reasonable. You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah, I wouldn't have did that. Like, a Virgo thing to do would be when you meet a bunch of people, right? And let's say, you know, one of, one of, uh, it was a stripper. One of the girls was a stripper, right? You meet a group of girls. Um, and your conscious mind would be like, well, depending on who you are and how you were raised, <laughs> would be like, you know, whatever. Different folks, different folks, different walks of life. You never really know what people are going through. But that Virgo energy is like, really, bitch? Stripping? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Or, or um, another thing I find with Virgos, you guys have um, a reputation for being neat freaks. I don't necessarily think that that has to be uh, true. In my personal experience, I think that, sure, some people can be neat freaks. Uh, but mostly with Virgos, I see that you guys like things a certain motherfucking way, okay? Even if you're not the cleanest Virgo, even if you could be a, a slob or, you know, very just a dis, uh, just an unorganized person. But you have your mess. Exactly, like you know exactly where you want your mess and how you want your mess to look. And if anybody moves or rearranges anything within that mess, it's a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I definitely will fall under that category. You know what you like to do and you like things done a certain way. And you don't really take kindly to, like, other people switching that up, like, or, or you know, disrupting your personal harmony, you know, with, as far as that's concerned. So, and that could play out in negative ways because, you know, it makes you look anal. It makes you seem like an asshole. And depending on what other factors you have in your chart, right, you may or may not be the type of person to be so outwardly bothered by any disturbances in your environment. You know what I'm saying? Um, me personally, I am on the sad son, so it's kind of like I can go with the flow. But. Yeah, you guys are some judgmental motherfuckers, and you can be kind of anal, you know what I'm saying, about your life and the way you like your shit. That was one and two. The third thing I hate about you guys is the fact that you are so, like, you guys are nutcases. And take this with love. Like I said, I will break on moon. And nutcases in the fact that, once again, going back to Mercury, the constant theme here is heightened mental activity. And so, as a result, a lot of Virgos fall prey to certain mental, I don't want to say illnesses, but, you know, depending on, like I said, what else you have in your chart, 
you may or may not, but a lot of Virgos definitely tend to suffer from OCD, um, anxiety, uh, anything that uh, disturbs the mind or any byproduct of excessive mental activity. You know what I'm saying? That's that mind always working. And it's a lot of times, uh, Virgos find it hard to shut that down. You know what I'm saying? You guys, your minds are always going. Similar to uh, Gemini in a way, but I think that Virgos have a very, um, are the more in-depth version of that uh, Gemini energy or of that Mercury energy. You know, you guys like to, once again, analyze everything. And everything ain't meant to be analyzed. You know what I'm saying? Um, this could manifest and and, and and feel like you need to do rituals <coughs> oh excuse me uh feel like you have to do rituals or um you know a lot of virgos once again virgo is the sign of health as well so some people could even be you know hypochondriacs and uh, just kind of that crazed mentality about their health you know gym rats health nuts and depending on what other influences are that are in your chart, you can be a fucking nutcase. Like you can you can be over the top with it, and that and, it's, and that can be very hard for other people to be around. You know what I'm saying? So just relax. Well, obviously that's if you really do suffer from a mental disorder, you might need help. <laughs> but you know, relax, guys. So, with that being said, that kind of concludes my what I love, what I hate about Virgo segment. If you guys have any questions, comments, you know what I'm saying, drop a comment below. Just hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and if there are any other questions in, as it pertains to Virgos that you guys might have, go ahead and let me know that as well. So, this is the part where I tell you guys to like this video, share with your friends, subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber to my channel because it's, we're going to, I feel it y'all. This is new. We're going places. I feel good about this. Um, and I love you guys. So as always, take care of yourself, take care of others and Godspeed.